Hey everyone, welcome back to eLearning Bridge. I hope you guys are doing good and staying safe. So guys, on daily basis, I used to get a lot of queries from aspiring data engineers and even working professionals who are trying their hands with the data engineering. So they used to ping me for multiple queries and trust me, one of the most often asked question or you can say the very, very common question is coding or programming really important for the data engineering profile? And if yes, it is important, then how much do we need to prepare in terms of the data structures and algorithm? What would be the level of these coding questions, programming questions in the interviews? How we should prepare some sample questions, these things, right? What I thought, let's create a dedicated video and I will address that particular part like the data structures and algorithm for the data engineering profile. The list which I have prepared and which I'll be showcasing today, it will help you a lot to get the starting point and slowly gradually you will get a good grip of DSA specifically related to the data engineering profile. So guys, this video I have created with a lot of lot of motivation because I know what's the importance of this thing in our data engineering related profiles and even in the interviews. So guys, don't miss any single second of this video. This is going to be really important because I will be talking about the important topics, what you need to study. I will also describe the priorities, right? What should be your priority when you are preparing for the interviews. And at the end of the video, I will be also sharing a link of important doc which I have prepared and there I have listed down some really really pet questions related to DSA which will definitely help you and whatever I will be sharing in next couple of minutes that is completely depend on my interview experiences so far with top top tech companies what kind of questions they ask to me and what kind of level I felt for the DSA related questions and I know you guys can definitely help me to spread this video to maximum number of people at least for the data community for sure so make sure to hit the like button and also let me know in the comment section that how comfortable you are with the DSA how much you have prepared what all topics you have covered and what you will be covering in the next step so that will be helpful for us as well and if you feel these things are really informative and to the point make sure to hit the subscribe button and press the notification icon as well guys since this video is going to be about the coding and problem data structures algorithm related things and we all know the craze of computer programming in india and how much it is important to land into top tech companies this amazing amazing announcement is especially for you if you want to become a really good computer programmer and want to crack some really good coding contests on different platforms like code code forces lead code and many more so guys recently coding ninjas has launched their brand new competitive programming course that too in english English. It will help you to prepare yourself for top rated coding contests like ACM ICPC, Google Code Jam, Facebook Hacker Cup and many more. And in this competitive programming course, you will get a chance to learn from highly rated competitive coders on different platforms like Code Chef, Code Forces, Lead Code and many other. Previously, Coding Ninjas had one course for the competitive programming, but that was in English like Hindi plus English and now they have launched it in English only so that it can reach to maximum number of people and that's the really great advantage of it and guys one really cool thing is that the faculty for computer programming in English is Soham Mukherjee and he is a software engineer at Google and also a six star coder at CodeChef so as an inaugural offer Coding Ninjas is providing 40% discount for this computer programming course which is in English and again the constraint is this offer will expire by 30th of January 2022 so hurry up utilize this opportunity and one more thing if you will use the link which is in the description you will get extra 10 percent discount so what are you waiting for get yourself enrolled as soon as possible and guys i want to make a really important announcement before starting the main topics because i don't want you guys to waste your time in some irrelevant things which are definitely not required for this kind of profile so please don't do that and i am telling it because of my experience so According to my experience in any of the interview related to data engineering, specifically for the DSA related and coding related rounds. So the level would be definitely till the medium level. So whatever topic you will be practice and whatever type of questions you will be practicing, please don't go beyond the medium level type of questions. All right, guys. So this is our list for the data structures and algorithm topics. Here you can see two sections, the data structures and algorithms. And within these two categories, I have listed down the topics and even I have labeled those topics with the priorities. And I will tell you that what every label will mean. Let's say P1 in any of the topic I have mentioned P1. So when you are preparing for the interviews and when let's say you are just trying to get into this programming DSA related thing for data engineering, those topics should be your top priority first. You should work on those things. And if the label is mentioned as P2, that means that would be the medium priority. And if the label is P3, that would be the low priority means in general, you just need to get the idea of those topics. Like you don't need to practice hard level of questions or in difficult level of questions for that topic. And also guys, I have mentioned the prerequisite part because DSA is something which will have more relevance if you know any programming language. 
language because without that how would you implement it so the first prerequisite will be programming language java python scala anything and i have already created a video for the python and next understanding of time and space complexity so and if you're new to the programming world then you can definitely explore it but if you know something about it so what i'm talking like big o kind of representation worst case time complexity average case and the best case and again make sure to watch this video till the very end because in the end of this video i'll be sharing that important document related to some very common and frequently asked programming related questions and that will help you a lot so let's check out the first part the data structures related thing and data structures obviously uh, most of us already know related to the data collection how data is gonna be stored in these kind of custom types iteration how we will iterate over it and compute and manipulate the first is the array p1 that means it is the top priority when you will be preparing these things so there will be two type of things question related to single array or 1d type of array and second will be the matrix which is again uh, nothing a uh, basically 2d representation of the array side right so there can be multiple questions uh, related to metrics uh, let's say we have given a sorted kind of matrix you need to search particular element and how you can find the number of ones represented in any specific row and many other such interesting questions next is the string there can be a lot of lot of good questions related to the string even finding the permutation and let's say we have given a list of a string then printing all the anagrams together and many other interesting questions related to strings then the stack uh, again a data structure so this is very very important you should definitely know its application what could be the uh, problem use cases where a stack data structure can be a good fit and how you can solve those things and how actually stack works its fundamentals and somebody asks you to write a code where you need to use the stack so the very best example of coding question which is like the uh, check if all the given parentheses are balanced together or not right all the curly braces small brackets and now the queue again are data structures right so here um, you need to actually uh, practice it on a p2 level right p2 level means a medium priority and within this queue topic there will be multiple type of queue so you don't need to worry much about that just try to practice some basic to medium level of question and that to like plain queue something now the next topic that can be really really important because i do remember my paytm data engineer interview where in one of the rounds uh, the interviewer exactly asked that pet question right just reverse the singly linked list and that's why i'm saying it can be really important and here again that's what i have mentioned uh, you basically need to practice uh, multiple questions related to singly linked list don't need to jump any kind of complex things let's say doubly linked list and typical questions related to that the dynamic programming uh, it is important i do remember a couple of interviews where uh, questions related to dynamic programming some of the questions were like very straightforward where uh, you will definitely get okay we need to implement the dynamic programming and few times right it was a kind of in the story form and i had to figure out okay this is the problem i can solve with the help of dynamic programming so that's how dynamic programming section i feel definitely important one that's why i have labeled it with the uh, priority p1 the tree part uh, which is again i have uh, put in the uh, p2 category like the medium kind of priority so first like whenever you are done with the p1 related labels and the topics then you should start the p2 and once you are complete with p2 then you should start with the p3 so that's how i have labeled it and even in the tree section the things which i uh, found like those things were asked quite often those were things related to the tree traversals uh, in order pre order post order their complexities and some really pet questions which can be solved with the help of these uh, traversal right uh, let's say finding a sum of every root to leaf path right you can apply this kind of traversal and you can try to figure out finding the diameter of a tree finding the height of a tree uh, just try to calculate the sum of all the leaf nodes right so these were the things which can definitely solve with the help of this sort of traversal and again the things which i found uh, multiple times i face questions related to binary search tree as well so this is something uh, again a unique property uh, from the binary tree section so it has its own representation its own logic so there were few questions related to that so practice that part as well the binary search tree next the graph part uh, it's again in the p3 side because trust me honestly speaking i didn't even face a single question right in this 5 years of my data engineering career in any of the interview related to graphs so for the graphs what i would say uh, obviously we should definitely know the 
theoretical concepts of it right there are different different things which can uh, be studied in the uh, graph section that's why i mentioned all the theoretical concepts the types of graphs uh, how it will be represented what's the theory behind it important uh, algorithms few really important algorithms let's say the kruskal's prims algorithm the isra algorithms these three i would say are really really important and the graph traversal which i have already mentioned here and the heap uh, this is again important kind of data structures because there can be some really good question if you know some of the pet questions uh, let's say find the uh, kth smallest number right in the given uh, elements and let's say a uh, stream of number is coming right then how you will be figuring out okay this number is the minimum so far and this and that type of questions and for those type of question definitely heap data structure will be really helpful and within that definitely two kind of sections mean heap max heap so you can definitely practice it i found it really helpful but i have put it in the uh, like lowest priority first you should complete those things which are asked quite often then gradually you need to come on to that part all right so our data structure related section is complete now we will be moving on to the algorithms part what you need to study in the algorithm related section so let me open that so first uh, priority would be your uh, searching like searching related algorithms you need to understand so what is in the searching that is linear search and the binary search and among these two the binary search is something which is really really important because there can be some really good question where you need to apply the binary search there could be the question where you won't be applying the binary search in its simplest form there you actually need to do some tweaks right you need to just modify your binary search in uh, some little bit manner and then you will be able to get your final answer so that's why binary search i found really important next the sorting obviously nobody asked me any question related to that directly that hey can you implement the merge sort can you implement the quick sort but these things definitely come into the picture right? right whenever you will be solving a question and when it comes to the optimization part these are the some important sorting algorithms merge quick heap so these are the important things and these are some important concepts as well like the merge and quick which are related to the divide and conquer part and heap something which is related to the heap data structure so you definitely need to understand it i would say these are something some really really base concept of the data structures and algorithm related thing and if your base is strong you can definitely come up with a good approach and last but not the least and also can be really really important and it will help you to solve some really really good question and that is the hashing so hashing is here uh, you can say it algorithm or a concept right to solve some specific question related to mapping some values on key and that's how you will be able to solve such type of question and that's how hashing plays an important role in this category as well and i think whatever i knew and whatever i was able to recall i have just put everything here so i am hoping this thing will help you a lot for sure and for all the aspiring data engineers who were just struggling to get the idea about the dsa related thing the level or the topics what all things they need to do so this is your way guys you can definitely follow it and i bet you won't regret and now coming to the most important part like sharing that important document which will contain some list of the most often asked question common question pet question so there you go so this document will be available in the description so make sure to check the description i will share that link there and you can access this document and you can practice these type of questions so you can see all the categories arrays string related question link list related trees and here stack then the graph matrix then queues heap hashing right and even the bst and some puzzles right uh, just for fun as well again a reasoning kind of thing which you can practice and you never know uh, sometimes interviewer can ask you in let's say uh, analytical type of questions or let's say behavioral kind of question where they will give you some very random use case right and mostly it will be related to the puzzles so i have listed down those uh, some cool puzzles here as well you can refer it and you will definitely love it so at the end again if you like this video then make sure to give a thumbs up in big numbers and if you are watching any of my video for the very first time then make sure to hit the subscribe button and press the notification icon and i will see you guys in the next week with another amazing video related to the data engine stuff till then just stay safe stay home take care of yourself and your family too